Hi, I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and let's leave no dye behind. I'm doing something a little different today. I have sped up this leave no dye behind, and I'm going to try to voice over the whole thing without looking at my notes. Uh, I know I'm using leftover dye bath that has some water and acid, and it looks like there was a little color left behind. And I've got some dyes mixed up with citric acid, and I am going to layer these on top to create a really, really fun colorway. Uh, I think that the first color is got some purple pop, uh, maybe emerald green from Dharma, and I think there's also a purple. I don't remember, but I'll put it in the video description when I figure out what that purple is. Eek, eek! But I wanted to create something that felt fun and mixing and layering these colors together. The yarn base is Knit Picks Swish DK, which is 100% Superwash Merino. It takes up dye beautifully. Um, this is post one of the summer mini skein mini series episodes. I believe that this was night five. And oh, now we're flipping it over and gonna add color to the other side. I remember being really committed and really, really wanting to use up this leftover dye. Um, I didn't really have a good way to store the citric acid powder mixed with dye. And I had found earlier in the series that mixing some different colors of dye together along with the citric acid didn't really give me the multicolored speckles that I thought. Things must have stuck a little more to the citric acid and sort of blended. I really had anticipated getting multicolored speckles and oh, I just waited 10 minutes. <laughs> That's what those fingers meant. And I guess I'm gonna come move it around and add more dye. But back to the citric acid mis mixing, since it didn't look like I could combine dye powders and then sort of speckle with it to get, say, this purple, pink, and green that we were playing with today, I thought, all right, I'm gonna layer these on some yarn, see how much I can layer, see how intense we can go, and yeah, will we end up with muddy brown or will we end up with something that feels really, really awesome? In some previous swatching videos I had done in the last few months, um, I was able to layer greens with pinks and get some really, really beautiful colorways. And I liked some of the results from early on, but I kept going and going. I honestly can't remember, and we'll see if I used up all the dye that I had. Um, maybe not, maybe not. What, we're at, okay, two minutes, 50 seconds. Um, what else was I doing? Uh, I know that also I don't play with DK enough, even though I buy Swish regularly. I really, really love it. Uh, I am a Knit Picks affiliate, and oh, it looks like I've used up most of the dye. Um, but oh, I'm going to check around the ties to make sure there's color penetration everywhere. Uh, those are my reusable nylon zip ties. If you'd like to learn more about the yarn, the pan, or any of the other items I'm using in this video, you can find affiliate links in the video description. And let's see, all right, am I gonna flip and move things around again? I'm not seeing a lot of bubbles, so I think I was able to successfully keep this below a simmer. And oh, I'm going in with some more green. Ooh, oh yay, I'm using it up. That's great, Rebecca, Woohoo! way to go. And sometimes, you know, I'm speckling, but I'm moving things around. I'm not necessarily letting things speckle. There's definitely gonna be speckles on this yarn, but because I'm using so much, yeah, looks like I'm using it up. I think that was that purple. Now, the other pink, the purple pop or fluorescent fuchsia or whatever it was I'm using, something that uh, does not strike as quickly. And so I was a bit nervous about bleeding, but hey, I successfully used up all of the color. And now I'm at the sink washing my hands and the clip is still going. Ah, I'm adding more water and very likely a lot more vinegar. Um, I want to raise the immersion to make sure all the dye powder can dissolve and absorb. With purple pop, if that is the color that I was using, um, you definitely want to let the yarn heat and then cool in the dye bath. And now we are washing, and I like to use cool water for washing, adding some clear dish soap, but woohoo, guys, it looks like that water is clear. I am thrilled. So after washing out the soap, I would put the yarn through my spin dryer and hang it up to dry. And 
Oh, I'm so glad there's no bleeding. But certainly letting yarn dyed with Purple Pop cool completely in the dye bath does help. Ah, and here's my Nina Soft Spin Dryer, which I love. And, oh, the time lapse stopped. <laughs> so let's have some conclusions. I am honestly surprised that the colors are not brown for one, but also we are saturated, but not quite as saturated as I expected, given the vast amount of powder I was adding. I think that having the powder cut with citric acid really helped. It helped me not add too much, but it also helped me find fun ways to layer these colors on top of one another. Even if the colors aren't feeling brown, there's no question that the combination of the green and pink and purple did mute down some of the electricity behind the purple pop. But I like where this is going. I still have plans to play around a lot more with mixing uh, dye powders with citric acid in the future. I just, this time, I really wanted to use up all of this that I had because I didn't really feel like combining them and storing them. Since I have not yet done the experiment where I look at combining colors on the yarn or dry in advance. But I promise that is something high up on my docket. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on notifications, which is that bell icon, so that way YouTube can let you know when I release a new video. Watching these videos and engaging with them is honestly the biggest thing that you can do to support the Chemnitz Tutorials YouTube channel. However, if you're interested in doing a little more, you can go and check out the Chemnitz Patreon or the Chemnitz Creations Etsy shop. I even have some merchandise, limited merchandise, through Zazzle. You can find links to all of this in the video description. Thank you so much for watching.